how to download git bash for your computer system so hey guys in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can download the git bash for your windows 11 computer system so git bash is an application that provides a command line interface for using git it emulates a unix like environment thus allowing users to run bash commands which are commonly used in linux and mac os directly on windows so the first thing that you need to do in order to download the git bash is open any web browser of your choice it could be the google chrome the microsoft edge the mozilla firefox or any other web browser that you find suitable so for this particular demonstration i will be going with the google chrome so let me simply open the google chrome and then once you have opened your web browser simply search for git bash download and then hit the enter button and then once you will do that you can see the search results and here is the first search result that says downloads from git scm.com so this is one of the websites from where you can download the git bash so simply click on to the downloads and here is the website from where you can download and under the downloads there are various operating systems on which git bash is available which is windows mac os and linux or unix systems so since we want the git bash for windows you need to click onto this windows option and from here you have the installations according to the setup or the architecture and here you can see under the standalone installer you have git for windows or x64 setup and then you have the arm 64 setup as well you also have the option for the port portable installations and also the widget tool but you need to click onto this first option if you have a x64 setup so simply click here and here you can see that a download process has just started so this exe installation file will be around 67 megabytes and then once this file will be downloaded we will be able to extract and install the git bash for our windows 11 so let us wait for this download process to finish and then we will attempt to install the git bash and here you can see that the installation file has been successfully downloaded so let us click on to this open button to open the installation media now it might ask you for permission for which you need to click on to the yes button and then once you will do this you can see the general public license for which you need to click next in order to proceed now from here it will ask you to select a location or the destination folder where you would like your git bash to be present so if you want to change the destination folder simply click onto this browse button and then using the file explorer simply choose the particular folder under which you want the git bash to be present so i am keeping the default folder and then i will click the next button now here in this page it is giving me the option to select components so if i want some additional icons like on the desktop then i can click on to this option then there are some other unchecked options like check daily for updates and add a git bash profile to windows terminal so you can do that if you want and then you can click on to the next button now here it will ask you to create the program shortcut in the following start menu so you can click next to that and then you again need to click the next option but before that you have some other options that says choose the default editor used by git so you can use any editor that you like so currently it is set to vim but it, most of the people also choose the visual studio code so if you want the visual studio code you can choose the visual studio code from here and then you need to click the next button 
once you will do this it says adjusting the name of the initial branch in new repositories so you can either let git decide the default branch name or you can overwrite the default branch name for new repositories so i will keep it to the default option that is the let git decide and then click on to the next button then from here it says adjusting your path environment so you have the first option where it says use git from git bash only and the recommended option is to git from the command line and also from third party software and the third option is to use git and optional unix tool from the command prompt so i am going with the recommended option and then click on to the next button and then the option is to choose the ssh executable so you could either use bundled open ssh or use external open ssh i will be going again with the default option of using bundled open ssh and then i will click on to the next button then it asks for choosing https transport backend so you can either use the open ssl library or use the native windows source channel library just keep on clicking on to the next option for which you don't know about so i will be again going with the default and then for configuring the line ending conversation again i will simply click on to the next button and for the same i will be using in this dialog box also that is to use min tty the default terminal of msys2 so then click on to the next next and then again use next and here you can see finally the extraction of the files has begun and once all of this will be done your git bash will be successfully installed into your computer system so now let us wait for the installation process to finish and here you can see that the setup has finished installing git on my computer the application may be launched by selecting the installed shortcuts so if you want to launch the git bash simply click on to this tick mark and click on to this finish button and here you can see that my git bash has been successfully launched and is working so that's how easily you can download and install git bash onto your windows 11 computer if this video was helpful to you consider giving it a like do tell us in the comments if this worked for you or not or if you have any suggestions or questions to ask and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more such exciting and helpful content thanks for watching and have a nice day